You know, one of the biggest insults is my insane abusers. Several of them said, You do nothing for me. Nothing. You don't give me anything. It's a headache. It's just a person with so many problems that I have. I'm just trying to help out. You do nothing for me. You don't, you don't add anything to my life. You're useless. And it's such a lie. Because I was very timid. One of my first high-paying jobs. Which was Lancaster Newspapers. God. So long ago. I don't even remember my boss's name. Bob Grimace. Might have been it. I never said a word. Just nice. I'm nice and peaceful, and I don't bother anyone. Okay? I got fired. For, um... Because I was a dork, and I... Um... I couldn't sit with anybody at the cafeteria. So I wanted to talk to maybe... A girlfriend on the phone, which would have been any girlfriends, but I just talked to somebody on the phone. But I used a company phone, so the second time I would do that, they said, You're fired. This is the first, this is your first warning. You are fired the next time you do that. So, this girl that was really super jealous of me, a guy, um liked me she saw me on the company phone I mean I, I was like so I'll get something right outside the elevator I mean not I mean it would have been better for me to go in the back uh, and use a company phone where no one could see me right in front of the elevator yeah I, it's really doing nothing wrong but that's what I was told so I was fired for it and I was like it's newspaper so um Highest paying job, like eight forty five an hour. Highest paying job. Boss guys gave me like four ten. So to uh starting out J supermarket uh cashier I was uh, three sixty and I went up to four. So that yeah, that was my highest paying job. And uh, what was I talking about? And I also, so I got a lot of little tiny jobs that were like $4 an hour. I was totally, um, lied about with my jobs, saying, well, she's so fucking crazy that she can't keep one job. She keeps on getting fired. No, I quit most jobs. The little tiny, you know. Four dollar jobs are they're all around. Oh, a four dollar job here, a four dollar job there, boss guys. Um when um the <laughs> wise supermarket. Um whatever. Yeah. A gas station. Yeah, you know, I I actually got fired from the gas station because I couldn't show up at six o'clock in the morning. So they're able to, they probably had a camera there, and they saw when I came in, like, you know, you, you, you're supposed to be a human, so I'm going to have to let you go. Yeah, you know, so I, that's why I'm fired. It's not like I made a major fuck-up or anything. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, those are the tiny, tiny jobs that I have. Um... Now I kind of forget what I was originally talking about. Um, and, uh, whatever. Uh, you know, you try to be a nice person and uh, people take advantage of that. And that's a bad thing to be. Except today, I saw a couple beautiful people. Oh, wow. Give it to the Hamas guy. Uh, panhandling. Wow, that's cool. Wow, that's really awesome. Like, oh my god. People giving to people? Like, 
When does that ever happen? Oh, never in my life. I <laughs> am yeah. completely insane abuser. I look what I gave to you, and you're so ungrateful. Such awful, ungrateful piece of shit, worthless asshole you are. You're just such a fucking jerk. And I'm, I'm not. That was my insane abusers. Demeanor. They were fucking jerks to me. You know? Total fucking jerks. No, I forget the original, uh, what I was talking about. Um. Yeah, I wish I would have had emotional support. Um, I did from a few of my girlfriends. I did from Rosalind Cronk. My best friend. From grade school. And then I... She went bye-bye when I graduated. Well, before I graduated. And, uh... She was very honest to me. I... Made her... Tried. I tried to make her feel guilty. But well, Rosalind... I was so... I like, you know... Um, why put the blame no you can um a poor victim an innocent victim can put the blame on their abuser for being suicidal but I, i'm suicidal and i'm sharing this with with my best friend growing up in grade school and i can't believe that you didn't care about me this is me being suicidal rosalind and, um, she's like, Tara, that's the way you are uh, from the get-go. You're always this way. You're always super negative and you want to die. And what the fuck? You're always this way, Tara. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> Don't be that way, Tara, because that's what you are, Tara. You're, you're suicidal. <laughs> So my best friend knew I was suicidal, but no one in my family knew I was suicidal. No one cared at all that I cried in bed all day when I was little, what I remember. You know, I, nobody cared. So I had to try to find emotional support outside where I lived at. And Rosalind Cronk was one of my big supports, being my best friend. And she never put me down. She never attacked me. She never stole from me. She never mistreated me, disrespected me, um, lied about me. Uh, that's a true friend. Well, I had one. <laughs> Late Susan Chappelle is another one. Okay. And whatever, um, you know, uh, when you're around an insane abuser the majority of your life, then what kind of friends can you have? And, you know, like, because they are control freaks and they will control everything in your life. You're not allowed to have any friends. And, like, especially, like, an example, my dead husband, I wasn't allowed to talk to anybody. And then my next abuser was the same way. My worst one of all time. Like, one of my worst ones of all time. Actually, he's the second worst one of all time. And both of these really bad abusers said, dared to say that I raped my son. Now, is it fair game to say that um, let's ask the victim whom you falsely claim that she raped. Let's ask him. Well, he just laughed about it. He knew better. But, oh, oh, I, I'm the worst person in the world. I raped my son. Yeah, oh my God. 
total insanity that I, I'm forced to put up with. Yeah. It's over and over and over and over again and again. Because that's all abusers will do. They will kill you, kill you, kill you, kill you. All the time. You know, like, there's not like one day that goes by with my insane abuser that I can say, they did not insult me. Yeah, you know, like, oh my god. Just awful, awful people. I don't know why people say God awful people. Why not say Satan awful people? Satan awful people. But of course, Satan is a God. So let's clarify that a little bit and say Satan God awful people. How's that? Why not? I'm tired. I forget my first, uh, what I first said when I did the video. Um, I'm going to end it with, um, this lovely lady, Melody, that I met at Lancaster Mission. That my heart breaks for her because she's outside. For way over six months. No, uh, eight months. Set. Uh, for some reason, just popped up. She wrote this to me. She also wanted to help me out and gave me uh, her Joyce Meyer book. I, you know, that's love. The battlefield of the mind. Here, this might help you out. Here, here's a Bible verse. That's love. Somebody caring. I care about her, but she doesn't talk. Or she's just mad at me. I ain't doing anything wrong. I, you know, if I could give her a place, I would. Like, hey, yeah. live in that room. Live in my bedroom. You deserve it. You're out in the streets for eight, eight months. What the hell, man? What the hell? You deserve something. So I'm reading what she wrote me at the Lancaster Mission. Um, I care. Isaiah 30, 18, um, Old Testament. But there are some, a few Old Testament verses that are good. I guess Isaiah is a pretty positive chapter. Okay, let's see what this one says. Yet the Lord longs to be gracious to you. That's a positive thought. He rises to show you compassion. For the Lord is a God of justice. Blessed are, blessed are all who wait for him. Now that's a sad ending because waiting for God? Well, the third world countries, which is uh, over a billion people, you know, living in poverty, stricken poverty, they never get any help. So, like, Wow, what an insult verse to say. Well, blessed are you, third world countries, who are... Blessed are all of you, third world countries, who wait for your God. That's sad. They'll never get help. Okay. So that's the main thing that's wrong. The, the fourth little line. For the Lord is a God of justice. Well, certainly not for the third world countries, you know? Certainly not for Sybil, because Sybil's mom never had to answer to one thing wrong, the Turpin.